So, in this week's show, we thought we'd talk about the dangers of driving while doing anything. Like, you, when you drive, you need to, like, hit 10, 10 and 2. 10 and 2! Some idiots drive down the road, and they talk on their phone. And some people text on their phone, and still some record videos while they drive down the road. And it's a terrible thing, and you should never, never do that. So, today on the show... Hello, pilgrims. It's been a while. We have not done a Suburban Pilgrim show, Erica, in so long. We haven't drove with the trailer in how long? A month? Yes. Probably at least a month. It's weird to drive it again. Feels like it's gotten heavier. Although I've gotten heavier too, so that could be the problem. Here's what our life is like. We don't know where we're going. We're uh, at a point where we have to make a decision. We're either going to head to, what are the two options? North Carolina or, oh wait, is that that? Yeah. We have like three options. No, that's it. That's it. Or San Francisco. So yeah. That's so two drastically different places. San Francisco is only about two hours away. North Carolina is about two days away. And they are in opposite directions if you've never heard of United States geography. That's the plan. I don't know what the show is going to be like today, but it's probably going to be awesome. So enjoy. <laughs> Hi pilgrims, let me clean you off there. Right. Gotta clean your eyes once in a while. Well, then you need to put Those down aren't your eyes, that's our lens. Well, we are uh, stopped for the night in Napa, California. Anyways, let me show you what the trailer's like when it's we're stopped night. for the night and we have no, nothing running the trailer, like no power, no anything. Yeah. This is what it's like. It's pretty dark, but we did just install these LED lights that are ran by remote, because we're fancy like that. Hello. It's Halloween. I can't hear you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> There's also some in here. You can turn them up and down and set them yeah, on the set a timer foot. for how long you want them on. Need more Bigfoot. The foot is making me. Well, that's life. We try to get to these parking lots when we stay at them right when the kids need to go to bed. You can tell one of them's already about out. Ah, oh, yes. So. Like her. Time for bed. To bed, I said. What's that from? Full House or something? The it's problem with the parking lots is that they're yeah, usually yeah. pretty. Dr. Seuss? Yeah, yeah. No. What's Dr. Seuss? Is that Dr. Seuss? I don't think What's so. Dr. Yeah. What's Dr. Seuss? The problem Seuss? with the, the problem with these parking lots is that they're really yes, bright. It's that cat in the hat, not Dr. Oh. Seuss. So they're really bright to sleep in here at night. There's just light That's streaming everywhere. We need to get like blackout no. curtains. <laughs> Hi Pilgrims, welcome to our camp in Napa, California. One of our favorite spots anywhere that we've ever been. We love Napa. We've never camped here though, and it is fabulous. Look at this. We've got fall lights up. We've got that fall thing right there. Fall is in the air. Not only that, but we have trees right here. Fall trees that the boys are playing in. Leaves. Let's go see what's going on. Boys, what do you think of all the leaves? What? What do you think? Well, we're ready to jump in then. Yeah? Yeah. Dad, film us in slow motion, do it. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna do it in slow motion, everybody. Get ready for this. my eyes. Why are you a weirdo? I don't know if you have the weirdest kid in the world. Well, you, you don't, actually, because we do. Uh, you might have the second weirdest, but Z right here is the weirdest child in the world. Of course I am. I'm in, born in a weird family. <laughs> born in a weird family? That's true. There he is! Don't hurt him, don't hurt him. I almost got him sadly's help with so many lizards. I know. Let's move these rocks. Oh. You got 
Don't something. mess up the rocks. Put the rock back. Aww. Don't. Uh, this one. Uh, so if you haven't heard yet, we are going to be making a feature-length documentary. It's going to focus on families like ours, but also different families who have just chose a life that's different than most. What we're really trying to talk about is the why behind it. Why are so many families doing this? And for you, if you're not in this lifestyle, it may seem like no one's doing this. It's definitely a tiny segment of our culture, but the more we've gotten into this lifestyle, the more people we've met who are doing this. So it's an interesting thing. And uh, we found that almost everybody we talked to who's chosen to live differently has done so for a reason that we all sort of agree on. And that most of us agree that there's a there's something to the way life was back in the old days. And some of the values, value systems that people had from the old days, I think still play a role or are important for us today. And so, anyways, more on that later. So, uh, you got tired of the tininess of the trailer and got this massive chair. What's the deal? Yes. We bought a mansion right here, the second floor. You can sleep in here. Fourth floor. Fifth floor. There are two side effects to living in a trailer. There's many more than that. Two side effects to living in a trailer. Uh, one positive, one negative. Positive one is in this spot that we're at, we have good cell service, decent cell service, but not inside the trailer. You have to come outside. So it gets you to come outside more and be more intentional about when you're gonna grab your phone and do something on your phone. It's not like just, you know, Erica can sit in her room. And by room, I mean her little cubby where her bed is. Nope. <laughs> Wait, do the face you just had. Go, stop. <laughs> All right, so the negative side effect, one of them, is that the boys can't get energy out the same way that they can in a house. They can't go up to their room and play. They can't go into the backyard. I mean, they can, like, this is all their yard in a sense, but it's also like, they don't have a space where they go outside and they always play this game outside. So this is what you end up with. Jeez. So we are really jazzed about putting this film together. And uh, the thing is though, we can't do it without your support. Like literally, we are asking everybody who watches this video, including you right there, to uh, join us. We're building what's called a launch team and they're gonna help us raise funds to make this film happen. Now this doesn't mean there's a lot of work on your end. Uh, we are launching a Kickstarter campaign next month on October 4th. And so we're trying to get people to just join this team who are saying uh, we will help promote your, uh, your Kickstarter. We'll send links to social media friends that we have and that sort of thing. Just basically share it on social media is what we're asking. If you would join our launch team, that would be amazing. All you have to do is go to our website, suburbanpilgrims.com, and you can sign up right there. Very, very simple. You just need your email so we can add you to the list. We'll send you some details and let you know when we launch so that you can share the campaign with friends and family on social media. Right? Simple. <laughs>